Today we're going to learn how to make a header for a website. First we want to find a nice picture to use as the background for the banner. As you can see with this picture, it's very square and doesn't really go well with a header image. So we're going to select the marquee tool and pick out a piece of this that we think will be appropriate for the header. After you pick it out, go to Image and choose Crop. Once cropped, we have the background for our image. Let's go ahead and select a new layer. In that new layer, choose the Text tool. And right in here, whatever your heading should be called. Our text is obviously too small, so we click the selector tool, click on the text, and then click on the character tool here, and make the text as big as possible. As you can see, that still isn't big enough, so click, hold down shift, and drag the text out until it's the appropriate size. Now let's hit the check mark up here. Choose the appropriate font. Let's choose the text tool again and create a byline. Again, we'll want to choose the text tool, make it bigger, but as you can see, it's already as big as it can go. So we will click on the corner, hold down shift, and again, make this one bigger. Go ahead and hit the check mark when you're finished, and reposition this right underneath the other. Now this is already looking pretty good, but let's take this one step further and add a little bit of gloss and bevel to our text. So click back on the first one, go to Layer, Layer Style, and choose Bevel and Emboss. You can already see the preview over here. It looks a lot better. Let's go ahead and turn that off so you can see the difference. I like the Bevel and Emboss feature. You might actually want to put some contour on as well. And play around with your global lighting. I prefer this one on that side, but you might choose differently. You can make the depth deeper if you'd like, but the normal setting usually works and I like to soften it up just a hair. And choose OK. Now if you want the same settings applied to your byline, go ahead and right click on your text, copy your layer style, go to your byline text, right click, and paste the style. Now both of these looks they look like they got a little smaller since we added that. So let's make it a little bit bigger. And press enter. We're doing the same thing that we did before. We're clicking, holding down shift, and dragging the corner. I don't think this looks as nice on the byline, so let's go ahead and click the invisible icon to turn that off for the byline. Okay, so now that we have the header all designed, now we'd have to save it and get it ready for the web. So let's go to File, Save for Web and Devices. And here we see a problem. Our picture is incredibly large. But that's fine, I like saving things really big. As you can see, it's only one megabyte for the entire picture. 
So we're going to go over here to the image size, and let's reduce this down to something that'll fit into our website. I believe the website we're using this for has a 700 pixel range, so I'm going to type in 700 here. And you can see that already resizes it to where we need. And now that that looks nice, I'm saving it as a JPEG, high quality, progressive. And right now, the entire picture is taking 43 kilobytes, which is not too bad of a size for an entire header, so we'll keep that. If it was too much, you could go to the quality and reduce that down. And you could start seeing pixelation here in the image. Um, but you also see it only takes up 17 kilobytes now. We don't want any pixelation, so we're going to keep it back at 72. We could actually try going a little higher. And when you go all the way up to 100 quality, I honestly don't see any difference, and we have three times the size. For small websites, this isn't a big deal, but for large websites, very crucial. You can save thousands upon thousands of terabytes by having smaller pictures on your website. So we're back to 70% quality, 42 kilobytes, great picture, and we save. Go ahead and save that to your desktop as our sunrise header, and we are finished. You can save this PSD file as well. Those are two completely separate files. So let's save it as well. I'm going to go to File, Save, and I will save it as Sunrise Header. Actually, I guess that was a Sunset Header. I have too many races. Let's make that Sunset Header. And that's it. You're finished creating your first web banner.